Welcome friends, whether you are looking for gift ideas for your own kids or just are nosy like myself. I'm gonna walk you guys through everything my kids are getting for Christmas this year. And it's way more stuff than I intended. Not all of it's even here yet because I'm a last minute shopper. But I'm gonna break this video into three sections. A shared toys, toys for my two year old boy and toys for my four year old girl. So if you guys want to jump to any of those sections, I will leave chapters in the description box below as well as links to shop everything. I don't know if it's because last year we were living in an Airbnb with like no solid permanent housing plans in place, but I definitely went a little overboard this year. The other thing I want to share with you guys is I've been setting up some things behind the scenes that make it easier for you guys to track products I share and sales. So first thing I changed was actually included a link in bio. That's where you can find pretty much any product I share in my YouTube shorts. And on there, there's some bigger items that are individually linked with discount codes if you scroll down. But otherwise, that first button will bring you to my LTK shop, which is a really simple, easy to use free app. And it has this deal section here, which I love. So any product I've tagged in the past will show you when those items go on sale, which is awesome. That's how you can shop all my shorts. And then I also started setting up my Amazon storefront, which has tons of list ideas as well as just the Amazon products I share in shorts. But this is great because if you have a kid's birthday coming up or you guys still are doing Christmas shopping, you can just click the list for your child's age and send that right off to a family member. So it's all really done for you. My top products, items that we bought or had experiences with over the last however many years. I'm trying to make everything really simple for you guys, saving you time. Let's jump into the shared toys. Shared toys are my personal favorite. I feel like all the toys end up getting shared and even though I distinguish between boy and girl, I mean toys are tools for children's learning. This little Play-Doh creation set, basically working fine motor skills and hand strength. My kids are always doing pretend play store ice cream shop and I liked this more than like the wooden Melissa and Doug situation because I felt like the Mullet and Melissa and Doug was just a ton of pieces that would get lost everywhere. It's going to be more like fine motory and pretend play whereas this includes some sensory which is always calming for their nervous systems and again that hand strength. This just covers a broader range. Next I kind of go together so we got some Hot Wheels tracks and then we got these Hot Wheels cars but these are the ABC ones so each of the cars has a letter on it. A lot of the gifts this year are very reading heavy because that's what my daughter asked to work on specifically and so I liked that this was just super dual purpose we can come up with a ton of different games for practicing letter sounds our neighbors have this set my kids always ask him to pull it out of his garage so I know that this is going to be a big one make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell because in 2024 I'm going to be showing you guys how I store all of these updated toys this is definitely going to be one of those like toys to tackle I got a new battery train car we already have one of these I think I got it last year or two years ago for Christmas but my kids are always fighting over it so we got a second one. Train tracks also make a great gift. KiwiCo has a really fun one for little kids that I'll link in the description box. These pop it. We also got a bop it, but it's not here yet. And honestly, I might just give them the bop it for Christmas and then save these as just a random pullout toy at some point during the year because that's what I tend to do. I tend to buy way too much this time of year. And then I will only give them a small amount of toys actually on Christmas morning. And I will like separate out things as we go down the year just because I don't know. That's just how I do it. Just this huge box of mini play-dohs i think it has like 50 in here but they just have some fun ones that are glitter these little foam sensory beads there's just some different textures I just put a couple of these in their stockings and then save the rest another shared toy is this junior explorer kit i think it's just generally love that kind of weird gathering stuff outside trapping lizard type of toys and then the last shared toy that my kids got earlier than christmas were the magnetic tile ball runs so we got one from kinetic and one from picasso tiles i did a short comparing the two. I'll link it in the description box below. Okay, toys for my two-year-old son. Uh, this is actually my daughter's. This is the Little Live Pets Mama Surprise. Getting the blue version of this, it's just not here yet because they have a sharing problem with it. Basically, it's kind of weird. It, how it comes is terrible. It's like comes with some hay in there and like a water bottle and the water is supposed to push this button here and get the babies which are here to drop down into the cage and that is, is that there were babies hidden in it. But it didn't work and so my daughter got rid of the water bottle has this stick she likes to play with pops it in and it opens which makes this like a really good weird engineering fine motor toy because then it's tricky to go ahead and like 
get this close and my kids are just like in love with this and I love that it has a little handle they bring this in the car my daughter brings it to school we got him two wooden Melissa and Doug car situation I don't know I haven't decided if I'm keeping both of them yet if you have these drop me a comment this one is the magnetic car loader so this is a magnet here and all the cars have these magnets on top which is one of his favorite things to do with our train set so I think he'll like this a lot and the other one I've reviewed this but we've never actually gotten it it's a really fun alternative to traditional busy boards or Montessori lock and key activities which is basically this garage that has three different keys and a lock at each. In the past, we had the Melissa and Doug dollhouse, which was a similar concept in that there were four keys and you turned each key to find the right door for it and practice turning and opening. My daughter loved that when she had it. When we moved, we sold it in our garage sale. So this is kind of like the boy version of it to replace that skill because I realized I do really miss it. So either of those I think are great toys for two-year-olds, three-year-olds. Technically it's for three and up, but like I'm not really that worried. I also got my son a Ken doll. My my daughter really wanted Barbies this year and I know my son it loves to play with whatever she's playing with. That's why I think it's good when you have mixed age siblings to get the younger siblings something that the older siblings gonna want to play with and I know she's gonna end up wanting that Ken doll because then the older sibling has to ask the younger sibling to borrow their toy for a change and it really ends up encouraging more sharing than when he asks her for something and she says no I just gently remind her okay well you're not playing with that right now and you want to borrow one of his toys just remember he may end up saying no to you in the future and you're gonna have to accept that. That ends up working out a lot of problems from the get-go. Next, my daughter actually bought for my son, which are these dinosaurs. <laughs> She gave him one and then she's saving the other for Christmas morning. The only thing he asked for for Christmas was a red dinosaur, so we nailed that. And then my son's big item, this Hape rocket ship. My husband is already upset that I bought this because he already sees himself stepping on a million pieces. But hear me out. So my daughter's dollhouse is obviously one of the biggest toys that we have. And my son is always asking to borrow it and wants to play with it. Historically, when it comes to that dollhouse, the thing I always suggest parents look for is the fact that it opens and closes all the windows and doors and I usually recommend this farmhouse as an alternative for boys but my son's not really into farms he is into tiny toys in outer space and so this just had some insane features so this whole system here always stays together kind of like a dollhouse and it has some interesting features so like there's a knob with an elevator pulley up and down it has astronauts it has rovers it has magnetic cars that you can transport gear in but then this top section which is part of the reason I ended up buying it it actually off and they can fly around with it which that is one of my son's favorite things to do turning things into rocket ships that blast off to the moon and it's just a little different that's what we got him as his big gift i want to preface my four-year-old daughter's stuff by saying i'm about to show you a lot of stuff she is not getting all of those for christmas her birthday is in january so i tend to just buy everything at once right now and i will figure out what i want to split up between now and later i may even hold back a few items to give her like on my son's birthday later in the year little activity boxes from homer who actually sent this to me over a year ago but we were in the process of selling our house i'm gonna give them these to her i'm probably gonna space these out but they have one for reading one for numbers and one for feelings and they are these little like activity kits it comes with a bunch of different items and this is actually like a magnetic activity board so that they can you know do the whole magnetic toy playscape scheme thing homer's an app we have used them in the past we love them that was like a good non-toy gift idea for you guys too thermal paper printing camera Next are these like spelling puzzles. I just wanted something different for her in practicing blending letter sounds into actual words. We'll see how this goes. I really liked Love Avery's rhyming ring puzzle. She does them, but she still needs a lot of hand holding on them. So I thought this would be a good puzzle to introduce when that puzzle is being rotated out. Also got her a fresh bracelet making kit. And then we got this first grade reading set. Some of the activities in here she's definitely way too young for, but they do have some like short sound activities she in here and I just liked the letter block to so build words together and I figure I can come up with a lot of my own activities off of this. Outfox, board game, she's finally old enough for and I'm really excited because this is a fun one. I have covered it in my board games for toddlers and preschoolers video. I also got this kind of like a travel play 
Draw Create Magnetic Dry Erase. I got this one though because it actually has stuff to teach you how to draw, which is something that she's been really into lately. It has different like magnetic pictures to use and I'm always just a fan of anything that folds up like this that we can bring in the car because where we live is kind of rural and so we spend an hour one way to go to Whole Foods. And then for like her play play toys, she asked for a lot of stuff related to dolls. So the number one thing she asked for was a bug bed. I went with this one just because it has really clean lines and it was really well priced and I thought the bedding was cute. She already has one at our generation girl doll she got last Christmas. I haven't decided if I'm keeping this one or not. Because it's a big bunk bed, I figured she would want a second doll. This one has like extendable hair and hair accessories, which my daughter loves to do her hair. So I'm curious to see how she ends up liking this one. I may save this though until my son's birthday in June. Actually, I most likely will hold off at least six months to give this to her. I'm just gonna let her enjoy the bunk bed for a while. This one was on sale, so I grabbed it now. And then she also got a press and feel foil art set, which is something I loved as a kid. And she asked for her first set of Barbies. She has had Chelsea dolls in the past, which she loves. And now that she realized like there's a big sister Barbie, she wants Barbie too. I did get her one more Chelsea doll because my daughter's obsessed with cats. Speaking of cats, I also got her the IR Generation cat with cat accessories, which is not here yet. And then I got her her first Barbie. It's Barbie Mermaid, Barbie Unicorn. Again, I'm probably not going to give her both of these for Christmas. In the comments, I would love to hear a couple of things from you guys. Number one, I would love to hear what your kids' favorite toys were from this past year or what toy they're most excited to get this holiday season. I would also love to know if there's any more detailed reviews you want, the products you've had your eye on in the coming year. And lastly, just let us know what you're getting your kids for the holidays in general to give some parents down below some more ideas too. This is definitely our least minimal Christmas holiday ever. And it's also our least Montessori or Waldorf one. And I do think that when your kids get to like five, which my daughter basically is five, a lot of these toys are bought with her in mind of being five. The toys look different. They look more traditional or you just keep relying on toys that you've gotten in years past and only get three things. Our family likes to give gifts. And my daughter just knows that I'm the one that tends to pick everything out and wrap everything. I'm like the little elf that does it all. So I don't take any credit for buying the toys. I That's fine with me. I just like that I don't have to deal with returns. In the meantime, be sure to go back and check out those past gift guides. Don't forget to hit follow on my Amazon storefront and LTK shop. I'll leave links to that in the description box below to make your shopping easier throughout the year. As always, my name's Rachel. Have a good one.